Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It is still lovely to be here with you and it's lovely to have you here. So today we're back on, we're jumping back on the four signature journal for, um, you know, a few days. See if we can uh, to get make a bit of headway with it because there's a lot still to do. There's still a lot to do on the outside. We still need to fill it and um, we still need to embellish it. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I just want to start, though, <coughs> just sharing a little bit of um, happy mail. Now, I don't always share my happy mail on film. Um, you can appreciate it. Um, I sometimes get a lot all at once. And, um, you know, other times um, it just doesn't go with the films that I'm doing. And um, as you know, I only have so many so many films that i can put up um so many films that i can film to be honest um, and put up in a week so um yeah so i've got a parcel here i want to share with you i just um opening this one which is um a purchase from uh, tanya at Teddy treasures shop um because it is something in here is to use on the journal that i'm about to work on so um the link to all of uh, Tatty Treasure's uh, places, including a Rexy shop, will be in the description of this video. And um, they look like extras. These are what I ordered. <laughs> so, um, let's do these ones first. So, I ordered coloured vellum envelopes. Um, florally ones. I think I showed you the one I've got here the other day. And... Um, just after I sent this order in, Tanya sent me some happy mail and it, it, it had I think it had one or two of these in it as well. So um, I don't know if I've bought the last one, so maybe, but um, these lovely, um, colourful, as you know, I love I love the, um, the vellum envelopes. And what I really wanted was, a, um, I've got two different sizes, I can't remember. Oh no, they're all the same size. Um, these, these plain ones are what I want for this. Um, journal because I'll be making them into some pockets so that I was after and um, I'm just recently I'm really enjoying the glassine bags I also get all these lovely these lovely little bags look to play with as well as as an extra um, yeah really really enjoying playing with the glassine bags so and um, especially with these beautiful uh, kits at the moment have got all the lovely flowers and things in them they look beautiful on here so yeah some some glassine bags as well they're really really inexpensive um and if you're in the uk the postage is is free so you know just a little a, a tiny haul like that a few little things you know doesn't cost you very much at all and i've got so much to to go at there um, let me just have a look. I think Tanya always puts little extras in um, her orders anyway. She sends me happy mail, but she always puts things in, in her orders when you order something from her. So she's a very generous uh, lady. <laughs> that is beautiful. What is that from, does it say? <clears throat> let me take my eyes off. Illustrations from Joanna. Balesford, I think, or Bassford, I can't read. Enchanted Forest. Beautiful, really beautiful that. I might even want to colour that one in. <laughs> she, she does have some gorgeous postcards. I'm loving the blue. I've got a couple of blue journals coming up. Oh, that's another one from The Lost Spells. That was, um, which one's the rabbit one in that she sent me? The hair with all the beautiful purples around it. They're gorgeous. Nice. That's um, it's from a pad. It's um, it's sort of grungy and paper and coffee dyed. I don't know. I'm describing it to you because you can see, can't you? <laughs> All these lovely little bits look that she pops in. I think they um, she gets them from Tapeology and um, I can't remember the other ones that she belongs to. Oh, Halloween party. That's everyone's starting the Halloween thing soon, aren't they? That's nice. Mysteries of India. Oh. That's lovely, it's nice paper. That's a sticky note one, which is travel plan. Stick it back on, yeah. So maybe these are from one of the travel ones. I do watch all, all the videos where she unpacks everything, but she um, she has so many things, doesn't she? 
lovely thank you so much so yeah what, what a bonus they they were but let's get these out I mean, those reds beautiful aren't they um no don't get sidetracked <laughs> get the ones out that you wanted so we've got a four signature so i'm going to go do two of the bigger that's it <laughs> two of the bigger envelopes and two of the bigger um Glass, uh, not glassine, glassine are they? Yeah, two, two glassine bags and two vellum envelopes. Goodness me. Talk about can't walk and talk at the same time. Um, so I'll just pop them on there because I've got the, I've had the mail to share with you. Um, and this is from the lovely Donna. Now, I did know something was coming um, because Donna is in Canada. In fact, there's a, I have opened it a lot. There is a, um, Canadian well it's from a notepad look but it's it's from the Rockies it says there and it's Lake Louise she tells me is a couple of hours a couple of hours away from um, where she lives that might not seem a couple of hours doesn't seem much to you in in Canada or UK or maybe in Australia does it a couple of hours would get you halfway across the UK you'd do half our country <laughs> Yeah, beautiful, but uh, yeah, that's lovely. And of course, that will be going with a note in it because it's gorgeous in my um, the journal that I keep all my um, happy mail notes in. This is what I knew was coming. I know what it is because I can feel it through the paper. <clears throat> and this is what she asked me if I'd got on, if I'd, I'd like one. Of course, I said, oh, I heard something, something in there. We'll have a look at that in a minute, but... So this is a, a, a pink, pinkish distress ink, but it's a new, it's new colour, saltwater taffy. And I need to undo it because <laughs> I'm so excited to have a look at it. Um, she did tell me that she'd um, just treated herself to it and that it was lovely. So, so yeah, um, I've got quite a few colours of distress ink, but nothing in a pink. I have to keep using lilac. Ooh. Let me just get a, a dob a dob a dob ahead. Go with it. I have to find a, a dobber to stick it on, won't I? But and what am I going to? What am I going to ink? Let me find something. You would think on here I would have something, wouldn't you? There we go. Look, there's a, a journal card half made. So, gosh, you have to load up your your dobber a little bit, don't you, to start with? So it might not be. Oh yeah, it's it. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have pink fingers. Yeah, it's quite pink. Uh, yes, it's a, now I would call that a lipsticky colour, and um, I know I know, I know one lipstick is a a colour by Tim Holtz. Oh, that's lovely. It's like a corally pink, would you say? Now remember, we all see colours different. That bottom edge needs trimming, so I'll I'll go deep on it, and then we can have a look at the colour. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I do. I do like that. Yeah, it does look like smudgy lipstick to me. <laughs> um, saltwater taffy. I don't know where that name came from. I don't even know what the taffy means. And now I know um, taffy is what some people um, in the UK, you know, with a broad accent. I don't know which place is exactly, but taffy is another word for toffee in the UK. So whether that's about... But what the salt water is, I don't know, but that's beautiful. It is look exactly the same colour on the dobber as it is on there. Thank you so much, Donna. I absolutely love it. I also love this paper. Look at it. It's like scallop edged. Beautiful, beautiful. I will be putting that in something. Journal. <laughs> Journaling. And let's have a look at these beauties. And in fact, I'll open them out onto that. So they sound like and look like charms which I love getting charms because everybody has different... Ooh. Oh, those tassels, look, they're like the tassels you get on handbags and things. Now, I'm go I am going to make, um, for this journal, this one, I'm going to make a, um, a tassel, <laughs> a big tassel. So one of those on there might be nice. A big one, maybe. I'll keep them in mind. I won't put them far. Oh. Sweet little bunny rabbit is um is like polystyrene or foam foam yeah oh some more 
can you see? Maybe I ought to move my camera in for you a little bit. Oops. <laughs> Just while I'm looking at these. They're nice. I've got, I don't know if you can see with my big fingers, but they've got little um, eyelets. So you can thread them onto the end of, um, be on, lovely on some of those little journals that I make where these these type things when I put the uh, put a string round with one of those on be beautiful wouldn't it thank you Don definitely will be using those right let's look at these oh we've got sewing that's a nice big pair of scissors I did get some but they're really teeny tiny little and that's a beautiful sewing machine yeah keep your hands out Denise because oh Christmassy one Christmas wreath let me put those little flowers back in here and then I'll be able to lift the others up to show you. Um, I know you like to look. Oh, that's a nice Christmassy one as well. Yeah, I'm, I've been thinking about the Christmas journals actually um, and what to do this year. I kind of gave them a little bit of a swerve last year. I didn't do much. Oh, that bird's beautiful. Love mushrooms and toadstools. I'm sure you know that. And daisies. I feel like these were hand-picked just for me. Now I'm... Um, Dragonflies and is that a bee? Maybe. Can you see that? I need to pull that on something. Who is that? These tails loose. Look, that's Simba, isn't it? You've definitely picked these with me in mind. I'm sure of it. Um, gosh, that's such a thick vellum. Let me see if I can lift them up now. Oh, do a proper look at them. Oh no, we don't want to. That's the heavy look. Can you see them better now? Um, oh, all the little things. Christmas, yeah. So I'm thinking, um, I'm, I am going to do Christmas this year, but I know a lot of you last year when I didn't do it were like, thank goodness there's stuff going on that's not Christmas. And I get it, a lot of people don't want the Christmas. So I will either, when I put a Christmas um, video up, you know, if I, if I do a few, if I do two or three a week, um, they will be extra videos or if not I'll just do one a week that's Christmas and leave all the rest for non-Christmas because there's loads of Christmas stuff going on isn't there for people that want it what am I doing <gasps> look at this I've been dying to open this I did I, I opened the envelope and, and took everything out um, but I didn't undo undo things and investigate Alice's tea party I need to be in <laughs> So it's eight by eight papers. Let me get the wrapping off anyway. That's a good excuse, isn't it? Because you can't see it on camera very well. 18 double-sided papers, three of each design. 2023, so they're brand new. Oh, I like that. I like that little checky one a lot. I love papers that are double-sided. You can do so much with them, can't you? They're lovely papers as well. So you'll want the name if you're... No, um, like I say, Donna is from... Um, Canada, so that's where she got them from. There's a name on it. Is the name Serendipity? It's probably on the front, I'm guessing. I bet Serendipity is the shop. Memory Place. Oh, it's there, look. www.memoryplace.com Yeah, lovely colours. Oh, that's nice. Oh, tickets. I love a ticket. You can use the whole page, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be putting those out. Oh, mine, there's three, so that, that's a beauty, isn't it? You can do everything with them. So, yeah, some ephemera. Oh, that's nice. That bottle one's nice. Some more of the beautiful sayings. I'm loving the playing cards as well. Tony did lots of lovely playing cards in her kit. Loved them. And she bought some, didn't she? I don't know where she bought them from. Yeah, I love that. We're just there, John. Oh, oh, I forgot. I've probably been blinding you, haven't I? I forgot I had you right up there. So sorry. Yeah, there's lots of collage -y ones in, which is beautiful. You know, either to just take a chunk out or to cut up individually. They will be gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much. I want to do an Alice now. 
I will be doing one again next year, but I don't think I'll be doing one before Christmas. I'll put it in the Alice box. It'll be a lovely surprise once I get it out again. And I can tell what this is by the feel of it. It's some kind of a... Well, I presume. I'm thinking. Perhaps in not to say now. In case it's not. Oh, it smells nice. Mm. Oh, you know the air, um, air fresheners and perfumes and things that you get? It's um, fresh linen or fresh washed cotton or something like that. That's just... Mm, just what it smells like because you know I'm a very <laughs> sensitive to smell person that is beautiful that's um did it touch no so it's like it's chiffon I think now did you buy that like that because it's very well um fringed at the edge or did you cut that from some material that is beautiful do you know what the colour's pretty pretty good match as well how beautiful is that? Love that dangly. Yeah, I need to look out for some of those. I've seen somebody with a, a bigger one with some of these on. I like it. I like bling, as you know. Um, yeah, beautiful uh, neutral colours. Lovely doily, which is very much my thing. Oh, oh, and you've you've embellished it too. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's good. That's a an embossed talk. Oh, lots of layers. Oh, that's like a, sort of a scrappy tear off pad, but it's a tag. That's a good idea as well. And then it nestles in there. He can do it with either. I suppose this kept it in place while it was being posted. I won't be able to get it back on again. Not on camera. <laughs> I'll do that later. Oh, pretty. Oh, lots of little mini is that mini bits and pieces and that looks like it's clipped on somehow yeah and that's one of those fold downs yes it is for journaling got a lovely rick rack on there beautiful pages she did tell me who they were um g -Kerr. yeah lovely oh Oh, I love a piece of bling, isn't that? That is a really nice piece, that one. We've got lots of the... It's neutral with lots of the rose colour that I like. Love that as well. Is that a stamp or a die cut? I like it. Oh, it's another one. Beautiful. Um, oh, it's a nice piece of fringe in there. Embroidery fringe, you know, you're just layered. Sometimes you can't tell with layers, can you, if they're supposed to come out or not? I need to get a move on, really, because... Gorgeous. Right up my street, the colours. Oh. How sweet is that? That's lovely. That's a nice piece of tape. Tape measure tape. Beautiful bird. It's like a watercolour. Left lots of room for me to <laughs> do things with. Oh, that little cameo's nice. Plastic. I think it's plastic. I wasn't sure if it was one of those um, wax melt ones. Yeah, these are nice. These are really pretty. These pink ladies. Love pink. Yeah, the papers are nice as well. I've not... Oh. I've shoved that too far down. Come out. I've not seen them. Um, I've not looked at them on G Kerr's site, so I'll have to have a look. Lovely. More bling. More ladies. Butterfly. Oh, another different tape. Measure tape. Nice. They're really fat, chunky ones like uh, chipboardy. Oops. Don't be rough with it, Denise. I like that circle she's put on there as well. That's quite clever. Beautiful. Yeah, the papers are lovely. A little flip out there. That is gorgeous. I love it. And um, as you know, I am starting to use my journals now, so I definitely will be using that for something. I am um, thinking about getting all my journals in. I didn't show you them, did I? I have a shelf. 
think I told you before, in my bedroom with the journals, either I've, you know, I've made for me and kept or that I've had in Happy Mail. And um, yeah, you didn't get to see them with the um, the beautiful, beautiful, I was looking at, think about this, this beautiful paper with the um, flip, flip through of my room. <laughs> there you go, that's some good English for you. Yeah, the tour of my room, I didn't show you them, so I must... But I want a, a shelf in here to to bring them all into. So Denise, thank you so much. You really did go over and above. <laughs> I was just expecting this and maybe a little something that you made. But thank you so so much. I am so appreciative, and it you know it will all get used. Okay, I'll just clear the decks and then we'll be back to play. Okay, then here we go. So um, I'm just the journal over there for now because I will be finding somewhere to put them in but we need to make them first don't we so um I suppose I have to look at the page size though against those envelopes before I start um I have got an assortment of page sizes so because I think yeah they're about the same size as the actual um journal pages that I've cut out Oh, were you in there to stop something sticking? Yeah, that lovely thing. Yeah, but they will fit on some of them, so, that, so I'm fine. I will be cutting the top off. Um, now, after my previous video, which was um, the other collaboration <laughs> journal that I'm working on. Is it here? It is. Let me just show you. Um, so, if everything's gone up and you've seen it in the, in the right order... I'm pretty sure this was the last one. Um, these are two journals and they are both spoken for. <laughs> but I did confuse myself and lots of other people about um, which was which. Now, um, I'm confusing myself again now. Yeah, I, I, I got lots after yesterday's um, video aired. I got lots of, of requests because I said one was available and it was and I couldn't I couldn't work out which one. Um but yeah, and I've had more requests this morning, so yes, they've both gone. This one is um the five signature one. Let me get you in here. This is a five signature one, which is the current um collaboration kit for August by Tanya and Nanine, and this is the five signature and this one I'm only working on on a Thursday till August has finished and then I will finish it off the first week of September. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. This one was July's collaboration between um, Tanya and Nanine. So cottage type, cottage type, <laughs> collage type and uh, Tash treasure. And this is a four signature one. There's, um, they both need work on the outside, but this one's got less done on it at the moment. And this was, yeah, the previous months. Um, collaboration and this is the one we're working on today so this one I'm going to be working on uh, Monday, Tuesday, Friday <laughs> and this one that's going away now and I'm not going to show you until next week I'm working on a Thursday and they've both got light colours so I'm keeping them in, in plastic wrapping so they stay nice and clean so yeah this is the one that is the far signature one there's lots more um prettiest to go on it yet but this is the one we're working on now so um yeah thank you very much everybody for um inquiring about it and um yeah it's nice to know that what i'm making is what you're enjoying seeing right so i've just checked the page sizes and we're fine that's what i'm doing move it out of the way so what have i got in here this is another envelope that's going in it when i've all right so i've got all my mm, sort of filler flat things in there need that at the moment so it can go back in the box so what are we going to put on here now i did want definitely wanted those mason jars those let's take those tags out definitely want to use some mason jars and i definitely want to use some of the actual flowers do i want anything else i was wondering about the windows let's leave them out i don't think i want any of those right so i've got less less going on on my desk start with one of each now I need to decide if these are going to be um, pockets that way like I made the other ones for the other journal 
or if they're gonna yeah i'm gonna do them pockets that way so i need to glue them down just a small strip of glue nothing much because it does does show through it shows through clear but it still shows through That's it. where's the cloth i've got some drying going to cut the top off and nothing will fall through the bottom because it's it's going to be a, for a tag so that's one just so that they will be um you know closed when I start to use them I couldn't see where the vellum was then on me the edge of the vellum on my desk now another good thing to use um, to close these up is a double-sided tape the ones I used last time had double-sided tape in them I just had to pull the backing off which I have got, but um, this one works as well. That glitter works as well. I've lost my pin already. There we go. So that's that job done. So we'll just let those um, dry and work on these, shall we? Now these are going to go down as pockets as well. Just don't know if I want to put something on the back. I'm wondering about these on the back now. Let's just let me have a a play while I'm thinking about it. Because it would just, um, something like this on the back would just give it a little bit of extra, you know, it's going to be stuck down on the page, but it'd give it a little bit of extra strength, wouldn't it? Not necessarily at the top there, but... Well, the vellum ones I want to put on pages with the flowers and things underneath, so that... Um, you know you can see the beautiful pages through but these ones not necessarily so do i want bigger is bigger better yeah i think bigger is better I like that one on there let's see the one then oh wrong way yeah don't put it on wonky denise we don't want doors, do we? Let me just check that. I don't want a door rather than a window. Hmm, maybe I do. Let's have one door and one window. So these are out of the kit and I've cut the, um, printed them in different sizes. So there are some different sized ones in there. And I've printed them in different sizes as well. I think I'll just go ahead and stick those on. Do they need inking? I don't think so. Well, look, I've put a little bit of string on my brown dobber, so when they're side by side, <laughs> I can pick the, the proper one up. Because I always seem to pick the black one up, and I'm, then I'm looking at it and thinking, is that black or brown? So as long as that pretty little string stays, I'm sorted. Okay, so, again, you'll only get one go at it, so make sure you put it on straight. And in the middle, can you see up there? It's just there's a line on the. <laughs> uh, table covering. I need to stick it around the outside really, don't I? It's not going to get any, um, oops. Cause it's gonna be stuck on the page. It's not going to get any wear and tear. I don't know if I'm in the middle, I can't really see, can you? <laughs> yeah, that should dry clear when it dries. So yeah, the whole thing will be stuck on the page. Yep. And it'll be something pretty when uh, we remove whatever's in the pocket. Oh, so I hope you're all well, guys. I am... Um, I'm still up and down with my legs. I'm having good days and bad days. And um, yeah, I'm diff it sitting here definitely makes it work it worse if I sit too long. There's absolutely no doubt about that now. I've proved it to myself um, several times just to make sure. But yeah, sitting here too long, definitely a no-no until I uh, get my legs a bit sorted. So... So there'll be lots of videos made in two halves, I think, because, you know, I want to get on now. I'm tired of not, tired of not sitting at my desk. I was sat, um, 
thinking how you know how desperate I was to get this room and how happy you know I was to get it and wanted to be in here and I thought I was going to live in here which of course I would <laughs> I would given the chance so what are we going to have on the front of here so just like we did the doors previously oh so is obviously my word today so 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 <laughs> so just like we did previously these flowers look lovely on the doors and windows growing up them don't they and i know you'll only see and you probably can't even see because the reflection you'll only see the door or the window when the tag comes out but They all look nice, don't they? Don't you think? <laughs> I want more of the tall, tallish sort of side, you know, in the corner ones. Yeah, not that tall. Okay, <laughs> make your mind up like that one. Those two, I think. I know you can't. The, because the light is shining on, I can't see them very well. But when you look at them in ordinary light without the light, yeah, they're going to be nice. Okay. Just corral those a little bit. We'll leave them out. So, um, I want some kind of a label. I'm wondering about the scrolls. Let me just grab them. And we've got labels on the back, but these... I don't want to go right up there because I do want to see the door. That's nice. I like that. I don't want to see the door or the window when the tag comes out. And obviously when I make a tag to go in it, I'll have to think about what's what's showing on the front as well. So, oh. I'm sure there's one of those that goes the other way. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, you go the other way, don't you? Yes, you do. I can always embellish that scroll up if I didn't think it's right on the bull um, when I do the embellishing. So yeah, I like that. I'm going to leave that little bit of excess on there. So we'll have the scrolls down first. Do they want inking? No, I don't think anything wants inking on this. Um, glassine bag. That's a pigeon. I don't know if you can hear it cooing. They do. They do make a constant noise, the pigeons. <laughs> You'd think the voices would wear out. I know that's cheeky coming from me. <laughs> they never stop cooing, do they? Lovely. So Neil's at work, as usual. Although he has got some days off coming up. So I'm not really up to much. Oh, I thought that touched it. Hmm, I wanted it to touch. That one does look, doesn't it? Just, but I must have had that one further over. Let me maybe, maybe change my flower because I don't want it like a massive gap. I don't know what I've done to put it so far over there. That one will, won't it? <laughs> because it's got a big long leaf. Um, No, we want a wide bottom and a thin, tall top. <laughs> that one, I like that one. Okay. And the weather has changed, something terrible. No, not terrible, That's that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, the sun, the sun's not shining today. It's not even showing its face. It's um, It's really overcast. It's not black, but it's really... Yeah, dark and overcast. And they have, according to Neil, as he walked out the door this morning, said it's going to rain later on tonight. So maybe it will be sooner than that by the looks of the the lightness out there. It looks very damp as well. It, it looks like a, a late summer, early autumn or early fall kind of day, which is a shame. Probably noticed I've got sleeves on. I've also got leggings on. So... That shows you that it's not hot. What's that sticking out? Oh, it's the, it's the bit of the glassine bag. 
If I'd moved it, oops, too far out. And I'm thinking I would like a uh, a word or where are the words? Oh, I'll never find anything in there. The, the, the box needs sorting. <laughs> Let's use something out of here. Is that my hair? Something up here, I'm thinking. Yeah, so a lot of the, the words and things interact between the kits because they're all, at the moment, very florally. These are on quite nice, thickish. Move that over there, so let me put my arm in front of you again. And I like the fact that they're, um, you know, sayings rather than just an odd word. Dance in the rain, tree of life. Field of dreams is nice, isn't it? And isn't that, wasn't that an answer on my video the other day when I said, um, build it and they will come? It was, wasn't it? Where's it gone? Yeah, somebody, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. That's terrible, but I did, I do get quite a lot of comments, I'm pleased to say. Um, it wants to be on something, doesn't it? Field of dreams. So we have down the meadow. I know we're talking about a forest, but forests, meadows, fl flower beds are all the same, aren't they? Um, do I want them? Yeah, Field of Dreams was the answer to build it and they will come. What do I want them on? I don't want anything too much because... Excuse my arm. See, I said I, said I want to put my arm in front of you. I can't get this drawer open. I just have to grab everything that's in it which is floofy bits <laughs> you know like tea bag and bits of doily and this is what I was thinking just a tiny thin piece of gauze just to give it lift it off the page a little bit but not create any bulk as such texture without bulk there we go I've got a foldy over piece there that's been quite annoying <laughs> oh, it's alive. Don't cut your fingers, Denise. <laughs> ah, it's a good job I didn't want it nice and neat and straight. I would have had no chance. Right, let's get the lid off the, the ink pad. Oops. I was going to say I re-inked it yesterday, but I didn't. I just wet it. Reactivated it. It's not too bad. Maybe it's ready for a, a re-ink. Yep, I've left it that size. I was in an hour in about making it smaller, but I think now oh, it's going down on some of that. Um, I just want to make sure that that's going to be accessible with this. Maybe I'll have it just a little bit lower so we're not touching that. What do we think? Just a little bit too much bulk there. <laughs> it's lively stuff. Okay, let me. I won't be able to put do anything with it until I get it down on a, a smidgen of glue. It doesn't need a lot because this will hold it down when I ink it. I might have moved you too far out now. See as we're working on little things. Is that better? I've just got through telling you that it's not so warm today. I've got my window open. I do like fresh air. That's why I've got my sleeves on. But I'm I'm quite warm now. <laughs> I'm starting to cook up. Yeah, that's it. Lovely. And there's a bit left for this one. I've got more over there I could open, but we might as well just use what we've got here. Tiny bit to grab it. Oops. There we go. Oh, I didn't ink that. Lovely. Mm. 
My sister's not very well, bless it. She's got... Uh, well, I think it's gastroenteritis, which is not very pleasant, is it? Bless her. She's all right. As you know, I've told you before, Diane, I mean, she's... She's not all right because she's poorly, but she's the brave one. <laughs> I'm the... Uh, I'm the windy one. She will be here, yeah, dealing with it very stoically and just <laughs> getting on. Well, not getting on because it's like a it kind of as you're on your knees, doesn't it? So she'll be in bed, I would think. She was yesterday, and um, yeah, she's she's all she's not near. You know, she's got home near me and home <laughs> like a, a holiday home somewhere else. They're away in the holiday home on the coast, so nice nice place to be. Um, stop sitting and admiring Denise because you've already used half your video up showing all your pretties. Ooh. Cutie, cutie for duty, my favourite saying at the moment. Right, so I'm going to take the tops off these with the um, this. I don't think it matters which way, which way I do it. I'll just take the whole of the flap off, I think. I don't have anything. Yeah. These are really, really thick. I'm sure these are thicker than even the last ones I had from her. Beautiful, beautiful quality um, vellum. Lovely. Not the cheap stuff. Don't think they'll be any good for anything because they're glued. Right, so I'm going down like that. But like I say, I only want to... I want to see the picture underneath, even when it's decorated. So I only kind of want to decorate one side a bit like I have here um, but I was thinking the mason jars will be nice on here so love these mason jars I'm not finished putting that one out shall we go with the big ones I think yep I mean how cute is that oh look at that one <laughs> Yeah, but I did some of them two to a page, so they were really tiny. So they do come in the kit, um, you know, smaller sizes going up. And then I did some two to a page, so I got some really kinky dinkies. Sweet. They're going to be lovely little fun embellishments when we get to that stage, which hopefully won't be long. I'll put them back so I'll end up blowing them on the floor or some such. Um... So, what else do I want with them? Tickets, where were the tickets? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. There. Come out. <laughs> I might still have everything out. Again, I'm liking the, I do like to use these connected together. So maybe not three, maybe just two. Yeah, they'll have to be on the front because if that's glass like you're supposed to believe, if it was on the back, that's quite nice, isn't it? If it were on the back, you would allegedly see them through the water somehow. Okay, I'm not plotting them back either. It's all too much like hard work. So I'm just wondering if a little butterfly on the bottom of there would be nice. I've got blue ones in here. These must be from that blue kit. They must be. I haven't had any blue ones for ages, but I don't want blue today. Wouldn't you just know it? <laughs> I want uh, yeah, quite brightish. Not too big. Um, I think you might be too big, but I'll leave you out. Because I do have a tendency to change my mind. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty one. That's very pretty. Yeah, and it's about the size. Do I want it there? I don't know. I'm just going to try. <laughs> and there's a vellum one. It's shiny under the light. That's the only thing. Um, no, 
I'm not going to blow that out. I'm just having too much fun, aren't I? No, that's definitely too big, I've decided. Now I've looked at some smaller ones on it. Oh, that's nice. Let's go with that. Butterflies everywhere. Put them in the right way. Might help. <laughs> Might help when you want to take them out again. There's a handle. Yeah, I think I'll just go with those. I am going to ink um, around the jar, if nowhere else. Yeah, just around the jar, I think. I probably could have done it in the black, but this one's out, so... Yeah, I'm not going to go around the flower a bit. Um, does anything else need it? The butterflies might. Of course, you could um, stamp. They stamp on beautiful, these envelopes. You know, stamp and ink on them. Um, you could uh, decoupage on them with tissue paper. You can put most things on them that you can put on paper because they take fabric quite nicely as well. That way up because you've got writing on you, although you're the other way up. I prefer it that way, I think. That's the red in mid-air. Yeah, that will that will do me nicely. Um yeah, I just suddenly thought about putting a a tiny little divot. I do only want a tiny one though. Just so you that you can. It might not be in the middle, but never mind. Yeah, the tiniest little can you see? So you can just open it easily when the tag, tag is out don't necessarily want to make a feature of it whoops so i think we'll add these as well today i'll we'll probably be out of time by then um because I need to need to get it uploaded, which the longer the video is, and I think it's going to be quite long anyway. The longer that takes, it's not just the uploading; it uploads well, not quickly. It takes a long time to upload, but about an hour, I would think, sometimes more. But then it has to do once it's uploaded, you have you get has to do checks for. Um, copyright infringement for music and things like that and then when they're monetized they have to check it again for something I don't know it's just it, the check-in once it's uploaded takes forever for some reason um, which is fine if you're you know ahead of the game but as you know I never am I'm never more than a day in front very occasionally too but it is only occasionally try as I might it just doesn't seem to work for me not the not the filming and getting ahead although that sometimes is an issue um but I'm very much a I don't know what I want to do you know I'm not a planner if things are planned out I've said to you before I don't like to do them so if I've got a list because I've tried it if I've got a list saying right I need to do this video I need to work on this piece of ephemera this this and this I just don't want to do it and then I procrastinate doing all sorts of things putting it off and it's because I've <laughs> it's because I've given myself something I've got to do and I'm rebelling against having something I've got to do <laughs> oh I'm a funny old stick it's taken me a while to realize that's who I am and what I do but at least I know what I'm working with now <laughs> So yeah, being you know, I've I've realised after trying all this time that actually being that far ahead doesn't really work for me. Um, I can do it and have done it when I need to. So when I went in hospital, I gosh, I did loads. I mean, some of them were only twenty minute videos, but yeah, I had they have a month and a half or something like that. Anyway, I had a lot of videos ahead. <laughs> so yeah, it just proves that I can if I I really want to, but. 
I love those and um, yeah the tags the tags inside them will make those plus the image behind so let's oh look <laughs> look at all the stuff I've got out let's find somewhere to put them if I can get the pin in right where were the oh, there were two pretties I've just made did you say what I did with them oh flip there they are <laughs> It's because I've got all the ephemera out, isn't it? And embellishments out. I just move them into this box because it needs a tidy out anyway. And I can do that with my legs up on my bed. So I'll just put them all over into it so that we can get the journal out. I'm not going to waft everything. There's a few more here. Let me move them. Oh, let's fluff out my drawer. But yeah, all into the box. Super. Okay. Scissors up and then, yay, we've cleared the decks. So, are you a bit close now? A little bit. That's it. I just move you in and out, don't I? Willy nilly, make me dizzy. Right, I stuck the front one of those in, but not the back one because I realised um, that I have to leave it open. <laughs> can't put two in and close them I don't want the front pages glue into so that one should be should be dry now so when I finished here today I'll be able to glue the back one in um, it wants a little bit of embellishment but yeah I like it so I've got four signatures so I'm gonna have one of each in each signature you do like falling out of there don't you you might get changed up if you don't stop it I have to remind myself just because of the two journals. So I'm looking um, for a vellum one, I think, here. So a page where I can put the vellum envelope. And I'm not taking up writing space. Um, but I'm not hiding the beautiful images either. I love that rabbit. There. It's already quite a bit in actually, more than I realised. So I'm going to leave room for journaling. And the lady who I think wants this um, journal does journal in them. You know when I asked you if you if you journal or not in your journals, <laughs> she told me that she does. I appreciate the. Um, this is going to cover something up. <laughs> it's bound to, but. Mm. Wow, that's a nice page. Let's take that middle packet out. I quite like that on there. Now, I know it's a full on page anyway. I thought I'd take this. I thought I'd taken the divot out of the back for a minute then the way it looked. Maybe. Let's just try. Oh, that's it for that one. Right, let me just go through. Um, it is. I do really need these in the exact proper place that I want them. Do you know what I mean? It's a... Oh, I like that there. them both there to be honest yeah which one shall we go with the red let's go with that one so um i kind of want it all down but yeah i don't want anything in the back but i'm aware that this glue does show a little so I'll put more where the image is. Let's get the edges down. Oops. Down quite well. That's it. And then I can put some extra here. Because it won't show. Just to give it a good grab. Okay. Fingers crossed we get it in the right place first time. 
great. I don't know, but it's down. I just press. I think the next video we're going to be uh, tag making and filling lots of these pockets because we've got lots of pockets in here now without any tags. Those look just see that it's open and it's it works. Yep, that's lovely. I just want a tiny bit down there, but I think I'll let the rest of it dry and then just just that very edge needs a bit, and then I can lift the book and mend it a little bit, get a bit more in there. Okay. So shall we go back to the front one and see? Just want a piece of paper in it somewhere. Oh, so it doesn't stick. <laughs> See if we can um, find a place for a glassine bag because I didn't find anywhere for the vellum one. It needs one or the other. It's very yellow. Yeah, there's quite a few bits in, isn't there? Not there. Unless I've just got a lot in the front signature, which I sometimes do. Yeah, it needs a tag. It's not the same image, is it? Maybe in the middle. You could write round it then, couldn't you, as well? Quite like it there. Let's just finish the. And there is lots of extra journaling. Mm, that might be nice as well. Oh, yes. And just that little corner there of the bag is being naughty. Yeah, do you like it there? I quite like it there. What's going on here? Come on. Yep, I like it there. I'm not going to look any further. Oh, and I can, I can put plenty of glue on that bit, can't I? That won't show through. Um, that's going down as well as now. Do you think about that then? Yeah, don't glue it closed, do they? And we're going in the corner so you can write down the inside and the are we straight well it's irrelevant now because we're down <laughs> i don't i suppose we could have been half a millimeter straighter corner down something with me in the corners at the minute That's it. that was a big blob so that'll hold it down All here. I don't want corner sticking up. No. Very nearly. Just give you a little bit. That's two out of the four in. Whoops. Uh, let me turn this page up. That's it. So that's the front two, is it? Signatures, yeah. So we want one in here. One of these two things. That's it. What was the front page? Oh, I went over into the. Oh, that's the second signature. I've lost myself. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, first signature has got. I must put the glassine bag in the first one. Where's the paper there? Yes, you did. There, okay. That's first signature. The second signature. I haven't got anything in it because that's in the third one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Second signature. There isn't one in here. So, let's look. I love those doors that we did last time. Windows. Journaling and extra journaling. You're free-ish. 
Might be a nice place for one. We'll have a look in a minute. It's another busy. No, that beautiful flower. We don't want to hide that. Ah. Well, maybe. I think you could write on that though. Certainly a nice bag background for sticking something on. I've got too many fingers in the book now, don't know. What's that Paris postcard? Either that one there or this one here. Quite like that, to be honest. In fact, I might bring the changes and put it in the middle. In the middle at the bottom, yeah. Because you have to remember it's going to have a tag in it as well. I was talking to me then, I think. <laughs> Reminding myself. Wibbly wobbly. Right, let's check the corners real quick this time, make sure I'm in them. Because they have a tendency to stick up. That sounds like a big plane high up in the sky. Again, you probably can't hear it. Some lucky soul going away on holiday, <laughs> hopefully, or souls in the plural. Yeah, and I think that will come to life with, you know, the tag in it. Got some more of that. Just experimenting with it, and it it'll go in the scrap box. So last, last one. I love the gold around that. So you're quite plain, but we don't really want a plain one now. We want one. Ooh. I don't quite like it on there, but let's see if it's somewhere out there. Well, it's going to be nice on both sides. Uh, I think I preferred it on the other one. I think I saved it for the right one because there's lots of images in here that I didn't want to cover up. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, not going to look any further. That's the one. Got this lovely blue with this blue as well. There's a great big flower here that's on show. We're not hiding. That's the one. So that's got four, four made and four in. Glassine and vellum pockets. Oops so that we've got beautiful things showing behind them. And yeah, I think there's quite a few pockets and tucks in there now, so I think um, this will be, will this be Friday? Yeah, this will be Friday, so um, yeah, we might work on it Saturday as well. We probably will actually work on it Saturday and then uh, Sunday will be Scrappy Sunday. So yeah, it, we should be within a couple of days of finishing it after after Saturday, I'm thinking. Now, you know I can take three sessions to embellish. Um, and like I said, I need, I need to do some more on the on the cover and the spine and what have you before it's ready. I, want, I need to create a, a tassel. I want a tassel on the, on the spine. So I've got quite a bit to do. But yeah, another week, maybe. Should see us done. Maybe. <laughs> you know me and making plans. Okay, I feel like I've been on a long time now, so yeah, we won't have a, another flip through today, but it's a beauty, an absolute beauty. I love it. Definitely will be making another one of these. Oh, maybe I ought to have a piece of paper in there, did I? Where did I put it? I don't think there's anything going to come out, but let's not risk it. 
okay so we'll see it we'll see it on the desk again tomorrow and um whether i'll get anything done in the meantime i don't know i won't make any promises but uh, yeah it'd be lovely if you can give me a thumbs up and uh, help my uh, numbers move somehow and oops uh, chat to me I'm, i will be i'm just about caught up again so i will be chatting in the comments and uh, if not i'll see you same place tomorrow hope you have a lovely day bye for now